So the idea was to. Oh, what the f is that? It's a fing bat in here. The f. Jesus Christ. We got, we got, get, we got. Jesus. Hold on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that uh, tree is not going to make it. Today's going to be bill paying day. I finally got checks in yesterday and so that's not going to be terribly exciting, but look how they send checks nowadays. You used to get a really cool box and you take your checks out and when you're done you had a little box with a lid to put all your crap in. This is what you get now. You just get this thing. All right, how incredibly boring is this? Anyway, I'm kind of disappointed by that. Checks have just become a thing for business people because the average person doesn't use it. Most places in the city won't take them. And so I had these, an old set of checks that I literally had my address on it from eight years ago and it didn't really matter, but I had to get new ones. And now that I finally got them, it's time to pay some bills. My tomato plant broke. This one finally made a tomato, but something decided it wants to eat it. So this little town over here, they decided that every Thursday they're gonna have a food truck come in from either Omaha or Lincoln and set up in the park because there really aren't a lot of dining options around here. So I'm gonna go check it out. So this is the first time that they've tried to do this food truck thing here in this little town. And I'm not sure that the people uh, that run the truck were prepared for the kind of turnout they're gonna get. They don't even start until five o'clock and I'm looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 people. And there's six more pulling in right now. And they're gonna be here for three hours. I don't know if they have enough food in that truck for, for this little town. These people are lining up. Looks like it's gonna be soul food tonight. I think is what the theme was. Fried smoked chicken, brisket. These people are gonna make some bank tonight. No one cleaned up the uh, I wiped off the picnic tables in the pavilion there, so I'm gonna see if I have anything in my truck that I can clean them up with so everybody doesn't have to sit in a bunch of dust. Couldn't find a towel, but I do have a Tool concert shirt that I'll use. That's all right, Maynard was kind of a dick when he came through. So it just turned five o'clock and there are 28 people in line already, not including kids. Getting his paper picture taken for the paper. This is a great thing for people to organize for this little town. People are really going to eat this up, so to speak. It's been about 34 minutes and I've moved about 10 feet. This is going to take a while. Plus the truck had to leave for some reason. I don't know if they ran out of something or I had to go pick up something. Officially been in line for an hour. This is not going well for these people. Getting closer. Hey, how you doing? Okay. Uh, can I do the brisket? Yeah. What two sides would you like? Uh, I think I would do the baked right, beans and the mac and cheese. Okay. What is your name? Christoph. Spell for me. C H R I S. R-I-S-T-O-P-H. Perfect. You do cash, yeah? Yep, okay. absolutely. Cool. I got here at 4.50 and they took my order at 6.13. So I got here at 5.10. Take 
That took a ridiculously long time. So I'm not gonna eat here in the park. I think I'm just gonna take it home and eat in the patio at home. Well, I just finished my brisket that I ordered from the food truck. I brought it home and we'll just say it was very underwhelming and took a really long time. Aside from that, you're probably wondering what was up with the whole bat thing earlier. So I was trying to think about what I was gonna vlog about today. And it was a pretty normal day. Um, I was actually just walking up to the post office to mail some bills. And as I was going out the door, it turns out there's an enormous bat flying around the house that scared the living crap out of me. That started because a couple days ago, Ollie, my cat, who got into some kitnip. Ollie. Did you have some catnip? Where'd you find the catnip? <laughs> Got outside and he's not supposed to be an outdoor cat, but he pushes the limits and he comes out here in the yard and goes to this fence back here where I can't get him. And always oh, turns out to be a pain in the ass. So the other night he got out late. I could not find him. He's black. It's pitch black out here. He wasn't coming home, so I left the back door, the sliding door, left the back door slightly open so that he could come in. Now well, apparently a bat came in too. The only other wildlife I've ever had come in the house was Jabba the toad, this toad that lives out here on the patio. One time I came home late at night and he was sitting on my bathroom floor. Yeah, that's, that's about it for those. But anyway, um, Morgan's over here eating a tree. You'd think I never fed her.